what's up you guys in this video we i will be sharing with you the products that i use to clean my apartment and i will be um doing a clean with me in the bathroom um please let's try to get this video to 200 views and 25 subscribers um and we'll start with it go ahead and start with the video i use the lysol brand to toilet bowl to put in my toilet after I complete um, cleaning the toilet. I use this um, from Dollar Tree, the toilet cleaner. I use this kind and you just stick the toilet cleaner back in the toilet thing. I use this great value all-purpose cleaner or i will use the clorox all-purpose cleaner spray i make my di my own, i also make my own diy um spray and i use these containers from the dollar tree i use this um foam bathroom cleaner or i will use the clorox foam bathroom cleaner to clean the uh shower and the tub out i use these or palm olive dish detergent to um, wash dishes with and this is the lemon brand or lemon kind and this right here is the citrus kind these are Ajax, but I also use Palmolive also. And here's the non-scratch um, sponges. I use these in my bathroom to clean the sink and the toilet off. And they have the uh, just the regular sponge side on this side, and they didn't have a scratch. The scrubbing pad on the dark, darker blue side, as you can see right here. I also use alcohol when I'm making my own DIY spray to clean out the bathroom or to um, disinfect the walls or anything. I use this lemon peels and orange peels. And I use this to clean my pots and pans. And this is the laundry detergent that I use because I have real sensitive skin. So the only kind I can use is the Purex for babies or either the Purex Clear Free. Um, that concludes this section of my video. Once again, y'all, please subscribe, like, share, and comment. And into slices. And these are how the slices are gonna be. You're gonna cut them into slices. And I just peeled these on just right here. I just peeled those. So you take those and you put them in the cup. In the mason jar, you're gonna take those. They're in the mason jar. And you're also going to use alcohol. You're going to pour the alcohol. You don't fill it to the top. You're just going to put some in there. Halfway or four. Once you do that, you put it in the refrigerator for a week. And then you take it out and you will have your DIY spray. In this video, I am doing a clean with me in the bathroom. Here you see me removing all of my stuff and putting it aside so I can clean the sink. Um, I will be using my own DIY uh, bathroom spray. And it consists of lemon peel, orange peel, and rubbing alcohol. You see me um, with the tissue, I'm just cleaning the hair and the debris particles from um, different um, things that I use. And then 
I go on to use my DIY um, lemon and orange spray to spray down everything. Once I do that, I get the sponge, wet the sponge, and clean um, the sink from the outside of the sink to the inside of the sink. And then I go back to the chrome part of the sink and I clean it all over from the nozzles to the inside of the no where the nozzles are to the just all over the chrome part and here I'm putting back my um, lotion and the stuff that I got out the sink and I'm cleaning the top of the toilet the side of the toilet and um, you'll see me get the tissue again that mean I'm probably getting I am getting up hair and different little debris um, just to keep it from sticking to my sponge and then I'll throw it away um, now you see me I am cleaning off the toilet with the sponge I already sprayed it with my DIY lemon orange spray and you see me clean the sides of the toilet the um, rims of the toilet everywhere on the toilet the entire toilet I give it a flush In this part of the video, I am cleaning the shower and the tub with a um, spray that I got from Walmart. It's a great value spray. It's all-purpose spray and a foam spray. <laughs> 